wanted to talk to you about sitting. And we think it's important because even if you're exercising a few times a week and you're doing your best to be in shape, you still probably spend a considerable amount of hours every week bound to a chair. Most of you probably know that sitting can cause low back pain or neck tension or shoulder pain, but have you really considered all the mechanical ailments that can come from improper sitting? We're talking about cardiovascular issues, breathing difficulties, eye and vision disturbances, hearing disturbances, issues with your elbows and wrists, and problems as just unconceivable as digestive issues, reproductive issues, and things as dangerous and unpleasant as pelvic floor disorder in women and erectile dysfunction in men. So we want to show you two super simple things you can do today to make sure that you're not making the two biggest mistakes that people make when they sit. Now, say that it's early in the morning and you just got to work and you're remembering everything you know about sitting correctly at your chair. And a couple of minutes into reading an important email, now your head is going forward. In the fitness industry, we call this the head forward posture or the computer posture just because almost every person we see has this type of posture where their head is so far in front of their body that now their breathing passages and their digestive tract is way kinked forward. So you cannot expect to have properly functioning cardiovascular or pulmonary or digestive system as soon as your head is so far forward and then you also get all this tension in your shoulders, in your neck, in your upper back. It's a very simple fix. All you really need to do is ramp your head up. And this is what you do. Say that you notice your head is in front of you. All you need to do is take a finger and kind of gently push your chin back until your head is now on top of your shoulders. That's going to make the back of your neck long. I'm not talking about lifting your chin up, which is going to make the back of your head, neck short and it's going to make you look up at the ceiling. I'm talking about just ramping up where now your eyes can look at the computer and your head can be in its place. It's really, really simple to do. Every 15 or 20 minutes, check with yourself and see, is your head over there or is it back where it belongs? And it's very simple. When you look down, you should be able to see the top of your chest. If you look down without moving your head, you shouldn't be able to see the top of your desk or the top of your thighs. The second thing that people get wrong 99% of the time is sitting on their tailbone. So I'm talking about this sitting where your pelvis is kind of tucked under and you're sitting on your tailbone. This gets your lower back out of its natural curved position and puts a lot of stress on the vertebra. It also stiffens and weakens all the muscles of your pelvic floor and all the muscles that are responsible for keeping you stable when you're standing and walking. This can cause digestive and reproductive issues, but it can also cause a lot of low back problems. So what you need to do is literally pull your butt cheeks behind you until you're now sitting at the bottom of your pelvis or what yogi instructors would call your sit bones. If it's hard for you to achieve, an easy way to do it better is to take a rolled up towel or blanket, put it at the back of your chair and then sit on top of it. This is going to allow you to achieve this neutral pelvis posture even when you don't have the length in your hamstrings to uh, untuck your pelvis. So once you've done this, you have a normal curve at your lower back. You have a normal thoracic curve on top, and now if you ramp your head up, you have a pretty good sitting position. You don't want to hold any extra tension in your shoulders and your neck, so every now and then take a breath, exhale, and make sure that any unwanted tension leaves your body because you're the one holding the tension there. It doesn't need to be there. Now, you don't want to be stuck in a sitting position as good as it is it as you can get it to be 
for a long time. Um, even if you sit with the perfect pelvis and the perfect head posture, you're still causing issues just because you're sitting. So you want to stand up every now and then, maybe half an hour or every hour, and walk around a little bit. Or if you're ready to transition to a standing workstation, what you can do, even if your boss is not ready to install one of those, or even if you're not ready to make the investment for your home office, is you can use a large, um, kind of like a file box, and um, place it on your desk, you can place your computer on top of it, and here you are with a perfectly positioned laptop that you can work with. Now, one of these boxes costs, Roland said, like $6 for two at Ikea, so compared to the seven or $800 you'd need to invest in a stand-up desk, it's pretty sweet. So you can do one of those. If you're taller than me, and most people are, See if you can get a couple of thicker books and kind of elevate your um, laptop a little bit more. And this should give you a good, uh, a good stand-up option. Now, don't make standing the new sitting where you're stuck in a bad position. Make sure that your feet are pointing straight, that they're hip width. Back your weight where it's more in your heels. See if you can relax your quads. And um, you don't want to have quads of steel when you're standing at your computer. Stack the rest of your body on top so that your head is on top of your shoulders and um, enjoy working. Every half an hour or an hour, take a little break and uh, in the future we're also going to show you some really, really cool stretching exercises that you can do uh, when you're ready to give your muscles a little bit of a break. Good luck!